The United States is expected to announce a new military aid package for Ukraine on Friday that will include cluster munitions for the first time, defense officials have told CNN. CNN first reported last week that U.S. President Joe Biden's administration was strongly considering approving the transfer of the controversial weapons to Ukraine, whose forces have been struggling to make major gains in a weeks-long counteroffensive. Here's what you need to know about the weapons, and why they are controversial. What is a cluster munition? Cluster munitions, also called cluster bombs, are canisters that carry tens to hundreds of smaller bomblets, also known as submunitions. The canisters can be dropped from aircraft, launched from missiles or fired from artillery, naval guns or rocket launchers. The canisters break open at a prescribed height, depending upon the area of the intended target, and the bomblets inside spread out over that area. They are fused by a timer to explode closer to or on the ground, spreading shrapnel that is designed to kill troops or take out armored vehicles such as tanks. A cluster bomb capsule at the frontline city of Audiuka, Ukraine on March 23, 2023. A cluster bomb capsule at the frontline city of Audiuka, Ukraine on March 23, 2023. Andre Luis Alves slash Anadolu Agency slash Getty Images. What type of cluster bomb is the U.S. said to be giving to Ukraine? The U.S. has a stockpile of cluster munitions known as PICMs, or dual-purpose improved conventional munitions, that it no longer uses after phasing them out in 2016. According to an article on the U.S. Army's E-Armor website, the PICMs Washington will give to Kiev are fired from 155mm howitzers, with each canister carrying 88 bomblets. Each bomblet has a lethal range of about 10 square meters, so a single canister can cover an area up to 30,000 square meters, about 7.5 acres, depending upon the height it releases the bomblets.